Good day, class, and welcome to another discussion in building utilities. Today, we will talk about the vertical conveying systems as part of the mechanical systems. Once again, I am architect Carlo Bielsa, your lecturer for this topic. So what do we mean by vertical circulation? No, or uh, let's talk about first circulation. So the circulation as usually applied in architecture is the movement of people and goods between interior spaces in buildings and to entrances and exits. <clears throat> so circulation meaning there is movement. No? Uh, either of people or goods. So circulation may be channeled through any of several different types of passageways, such as lobbies, corridors, ramps, stairways, and elevator hoistways. So uh, pwedeng uh, through spaces, no? Or pwedeng through mechanical equipment yung circulation. Now, there are two types of circulation in a building. So, pwede horizontal circulation or vertical circulation. So, in this lecture, we will talk about the vertical circulation, no? yung mechanical system. Uh, in the uh, we will focus on the elevator no in the design of a building uh, much thought should be given to the type of vertical circulation to be provided no so uh, in elevator design no we consider yung the number of the needed elevator their location no the arrangement of the elevators and the uh, structural integrity. No, no elevator shaft no, or the elevator core. And uh, we also need to consider no, as part ng vertical circulation, yung uh, structural integrity for our staircase. No? Kaya nga usually, in uh, high-rise buildings, the uh, structural system no, na ginagamit for uh, vertical circulation sa staircases and sa mga uh, elevators, no, usually shear wall. No, because yung uh, shear no, na parallel doon sa movement. No, so uh, shear wall yung ginagamit. So there are two types of conveying systems. No? Punta tayo sa non-mechanical. So ito yung mga stairs, no? stairs or staircases, ramps for disabled. No? Uh, ramps kasi ginagamit ng uh, tao. Pero kapag ramp na ginagamit for goods, no? ito na yung tinatawag nating mga Ducks, no? So, sa to usually sa mga shopping centers, no? Mga groceries, mga loading bays, no? Meron silang ducks. No? So, ayun yung example ng uh, stairs. So, ano naman itong mechanical? Uh, ang kasama dito sa mechanical conveying systems, ito yung uh, escalator. Elevator, dumb waiter, and stair lift. So, uh, ito yung difference ng uh, non-mechanical and mechanical, kung makikita nyo. No? So, sa non-mechanical, of course, kailangan mong gumamit ng paa. Sa mechanical, no? sasakay ka lang doon sa, sa escalator, doon sa tread. No? Or sa, kung sa elevator, sasakay ka lang doon sa elevator car. And kusang ita-transport ka na vertically. So,
So our focus for today would be the elevator. So as defined, elevator is a hoisting and lowering mechanism equipped with a car or platform. No? So yung sinasakyan ay tawag kotse or platform that moves along guides in a shaft. Shaft, so ibig sabihin, uh, butas siya, wala siyang uh, uh, floor. No? Or hoist way in a substantially vertical direction. No? So vertical lang pag elevator. And that transports passengers or goods or both between two or more doors of a building. So bakit kailangan uh, i-highlight itong uh, sinasabi dito na vertical direction? Kasi pag horizontal direction, no, iba na yung uh, ginagamit doon. No? Ito na yung uh, uh, mga vocalator. At saka kapag yan, hindi uh, substantially, vertically uh, correct no? yung uh, tinatawag na wala sa hulog. No? Hindi siya plumb yung uh, shaft or the hoist way. Yung elevator magiging parang roller coaster ride. No? So hindi dapat ganun yung ating uh, elevator. So, in other countries, ang tawag nila sa elevator sa UK, sa mga Brits, is lift. No? Kaya kung mapapansin nyo kay Mr. Bean, lift yung tawag nila. Pero, same pa rin no, ng uh, purpose no elevator yan pag US pag uh, UK lift yung tawag nila so there are two types of elevator no? first is the uh, traction type no so uh Let's focus on this muna sa traction type. Traction type elevator or geared type. No, may kita nyo, may gear. No? Geared type or electric elevator. Ano yung components nitong traction elevator? No? First, meron siyang guide rail. No? Ayun, guide rail. No? Para dun sa kotse at saka guide rail nung uh, ito yung kulay blue na makikita nyo, yung kanyang counterweight. And then meron siyang hoisting cable. Ayun, yung hoisting cable. Meron siyang uh, drive sheave or the governor's pulley. No, ayun. Meron siyang traveling cable and meron siyang counterweight. Ayun, yung nauna nang nabanggit, counterweight. <clears throat> Now, uh, ang traction elevator, it requires a machine room. No? So mamaya, madi-discuss natin bakit kailangan ng machine room. Ano ba yung uh, nilalaman ng machine room? What equipment is in that machine room? Or pwedeng uh, walang machine room, no? machine roomless, pero yung equipment nakasabay Uh, nakasakay kasama nung elevator no yung kanyang uh, control panel no so control panel yung tawag doon so the traction type elevator is capable to serve yung mga high rise buildings no bakit bakit siya yung uh, preferred over this hydraulic kasi yung hydraulic type elevator or uh, We call the 
the pneumatic type elevator wherein ang uh, nagpapagana sa kanya is yung piston or yung mga retractable na pipes no kung makikita niyo dito so ayun retractable siya so yun yung kanyang uh, component no na nagdi-differentiate dito sa traction type elevator no so kung kunyari uh, 20 story building no high rise na yun so yung uh, traction type elevator is preferred kasi hahabaan mo lang yung uh, hoisting cable no tataas lang yung uh, governor's pulley but yung hydraulic type na elevator no yung uh, retractable na pipe dito yung piston na nagtulak sa kanya so magre-retract yon no 20 different sizes ng pipes no para ma-push yung elevator car into different floors no so ayun yung dalawang uh, types ng elevator So, punta tayo naman sa parts ng elevator. So, kung titignan natin, ito yung uh, interior. Uh, sorry, exterior no, na nakikita natin. So, anong meron dito? Uh, of course, may kita nyo yung kotse, the elevator car. Uh, ito yung uh, platform na sinasakyan natin. No? Ito yung nagtatransport ng mga tao no? or goods. No? Pag passenger elevator, uh, mga tao. Ano pa yung nakikita natin dito? There is the lantern. No? So, ito yung lantern. It... Uh, shows no merong ilaw it signals the approach of the elevator no kung pataas ba yung elevator o pababa no lantern yung tawag doon and then uh, not shown here is the annunciator yung annunciator ito yung uh, visual indication no, ng floor kung nasaan na yung elevator. So ngayon na uh, pagka analog meron siya dito yung annunciator. Pero pag digital na yung mga elevator, so included na yun kasama dito sa call button. So yung call button uh, by the name itself no. Ito yung pipindutin mo para mag-request ka ng service na elevator. So sa interior naman ng elevator, no? So uh, tignan natin tong interior no or yung section ng isang traction type elevator, no? So may counterweight, merong uh, buffer, uh, ano yung uh, guide rail, ito yung car, no? yung landing, yung mga separator beams, no? lalo pag yan ay uh, bank ng elevator, and yung uh, machine room kung nasaan yung very important, no? yung parang CPU ng elevator, yung nag-house ng uh, algorithm ng elevator yung kanyang uh, control panel. No. So, I will give you, I will be sending a handout, no, a copy of uh, this information. So, in elevator design, we are guided no, ng dalawang, uh, in the Philippines, ng dalawang building codes. No? Ito yung ating uh, National Building Code, yung PD-1096, 
and yung TP344 or the law to enhance the mobility of disabled persons. <coughs> Sorry. So ano sinasabi dito ng uh, National Building Code? So, if we're going to check yung Rule uh, 13, Electrical and Mechanical Regulations. No? So sinasabi doon, uh, one provision, uh, 600 millimeter yung clearance between the soffit of the elevator car and the uh, floor nung siya. No? So mag, mag, uh, lalagay daw dapat ng buffer. No? So ganun, yung, ganun kalaki yung buffer. And then, uh, ano pa? Ang allowed ng code din natin sa building code, apat lang yung uh, battery no ng elevator sa isang shaft no so sa isang uh, lalagyan dito by code natin apat lang yung inaallow so pag lumabas sa design ng elevator sa dami ng units na kailangan lima so maglalagay ka na lang isa dito no kasi ang uh, maximum lang ay apat no? Four rows of elevator. And then sabi naman sa BP344, no, if we're going to browse the content of BP344, the minimum dimension, no, interior dimension ng elevator car para paggamit ng disabled uh, ng mga PWD no or yung mga physically challenged uh, yung width no should be minimum ng 110 ah 1100 millimeters and yung depth should be 1400 millimeters so ito yung uh, isang example ng uh, detailed drawing ng isang uh, elevator. No, kung makikita nyo, mayroong key plan no, kung nasaan yung elevator, mayroong section na identify, and then mayroong plan ng uh, machine room, plan ng uh, uh, sa may buffer sa lower floor, no? and then some section showing the important parts no or important components no elevator so discuss naman natin itong control system ng elevator no yung kanyang machine room no so ganito yung itsura nung machine room niya so uh, there are six types of control system no, ng isang elevator. So the control system, uh, it governs the starting, stopping, the direction of motion. No? Pag pinindot mo yung call button, pag signal yung uh, elevator control panel dun sa car, kung saang direction pupunta pataas ba or pababa no yung pinakamalapit na elevator no it also controls the acceleration the speed and the retardation no yung uh, pagbagal ng uh, speed niya in deceleration niya kapag ka malapit na doon sa landing floor so the uh, most common elevator control panel, uh, control system, is the VVVF or the variable voltage, variable frequency. So para itong uh, rectifier, no, yung uh, control uh, system na ito, kasi usually supply ng kuryente is uh, AC for elevator. So alternating current yan. 
And then, tadaan yung current dito sa VVVF panel. No? Para uh, uh, magamit no? nung DC motor yung kuryente. So, isa pang type ng uh, elevator control uh, system is the generator field control. So, another example, yung uh, multi-voltage control. Another is the rheostatic control. No? And uh, meron ding single speed, alternating current control, at meron din yung two-speed or dual-speed alternating current control. So now, uh, in the design of the elevator, no, kung uh, ilan bang units ng car you ipoprovide, no, uh, it is actually based on traffic analysis. And uh, each traffic analysis is patented for up. Uh, it's patented per elevator manufacturer. No, so sino sino ba yung mga elevator manufacturer? Sila Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi, si uh, Schindler, no, Otis, Hyundai, no. So meron silang kanya-kanyang uh, traffic analysis. And uh, it is better no, that we will discuss this design of the uh, elevator in synchronous class. No? So we will determine the number of the computation for the number of uh, elevator units. No? Yung waiting time, no? kasi the maximum, sabi, uh, the recommended maximum waiting time pag nag uh, umindot sa call button no pag tumawag ka ng elevator 300 seconds lang no maximum na yon more than that uh, hindi na desirable and then yung speed ng uh, elevator no dapat na sa range lang ng 500 to 800 feet per second so ayun that's all. I hope you've learned uh, something new today. And I hope to see you in our synchronous class. Thank you.